Nice. Are you completely out of spells? You cannot defeat me. That looks like Guiding Bolt when he does that. Hold the line, Colga. Do you have anything? Let's move. Uh, let's. This is going to put you in combat with these, probably. I just like doing this. I love doing this spell. That I like. Very nice. And then go next to Colgar just to give you a bit of melee support. You guys can come running now. We've taken out the big threat. Yeah, do it. Nice. Right, all you morons. Let's just, yeah, I mean, we're gonna take hits from that side, but. He's dead anyway. Um, the, the bear's the only threat. Well, I. I'm hoping the bear's the only threat that will still be standing after this. Of what I can target. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Well done. Only five? Christ. We really need to work on your um your aim, buddy. I kind of figured it would be. The barrier who takes it. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Oh, is there two chieftains? There's two chieftains. Right, okay. That's the barrier as well. Yeah. And the bear comes in, which is going to be on the barrier, I guess. Oh no. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, you have a bow as well. Annoying. Fanko's now in combat, isn't he? Can we take out this archer? Yep. You'll die like the rest. She can. She's good. Nice. And then fast aim. Oh, <laughs> she's a machine. Who's the biggest threat? So my plan is for Vanko to focus on that bear, then loop round. So if I can take out you, you can't win. Yes. I still hit, Jesus. That's okay. That's sort of okay. You see how they're nicely in a line. You're okay. This is what your level one spells are for. Obviously we're empowering it. Say goodbye. They're all still standing. Forty six damage a piece, and they're all still standing. There's a reason I'm maledicted you, because I knew that you were going to come running. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. If I can get around the back of them, actually, if I could get him there, I can do that. But I want the bear out of the way first. I'll still miss. I think he's AC 20, isn't he? Colgo? Ow! Yes! Take the bear out. I win again! Ouch, 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 ouch! Colgo is taking a battering. Can you see these things? Take him out first. Wait till She's a machine. Before. She's just a machine. And then we get two shots on this guy. Go on. Is that five she's killed? She's unstoppable. She's genuinely unstoppable. And he's pretty good. Masali is just brutal. Take all the good stuff. Fair thing. And now we've leveled up, so we get feats or ability scores or whatever I feel that we need for each of our characters who are lower than Kalgar. Which is pretty good. Never anything back here, is there? Oh, hit that one. Nice. Right. We leveled up. I like leveling up. Leveling up is fun. And we get a long rest. We get all our spells back. We get to, to really just... Yeah. We're back in the fight proper now. No, we have to have that. Oh, he does... He gets Death Ward. Right, okay. Heroism... Cannot be frightened. I'm starting to see how that could be very good. Only one target, though. We can cast it higher. That's could been useful, this campaign, hasn't it? No, okay. Keep, keep what you've got. As much as I would love to do more, I need to get you this feat, my dude. Uh, what's it called? Concentration? Flawless concentration. So you're, you are trained to maintain your concentration in the most extreme conditions. If you sustain up to 10 points of damage, which I think every hit's going to pass that, to be honest. But you don't need to roll, so that's good. Above that value, you have an advantage on rolling the saving throw. Yes, absolutely. Oh, do we get another invocation? Okay, nice. I don't know what we want. Probably a life drinker. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes extra necrotic damage equal to your charisma modifier, so plus five. So that's another plus five. That's like Agonizing Blast, but on melee hits as well. So that boosts his damage nicely, and it's when you hit, so you're always gonna do that extra five damage. I really wanna get you a book of charisma stuffs. That's what they're called, right? Um, really, level 12 is really nice for, for Warlocks. He's got some really cool stuff. What do you get? Do I up? Do I up your wisdom? 
Or do you take something like... I really like distracting Gambit. I also really like Cloak and Dagger. Take aim... I don't see the point of... Because she she's just... she's so good anyway. Twin blade. Use your reaction now. Just no. Always tempted to do the uh, I don't know what it's called the lock pick one. I can't see it now. It's not Mender. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, follow up. Sorry, what's follow up? Follow up is the two handed weapon one, isn't it? Yeah, no. It's really good if you're using two handed weapons. She's never going to use a two handed weapon. I'm a dexterous. The plus one to dex is pointless. Although I do like that because you can then use non light weapons, but the problem with the rogue is for a fighter I think that would be incredible because the rogue builds so much into finesse there isn't as far as I know any long swords that have finesse or axes that finesse I mean an axe wouldn't be finesse anyway so cloak and dagger is so tempting but I always take that uh, when you hit an enemy with a light weapon which she has two of them uh, you gain two AC until the start of your next turn so it just keeps you alive a little bit longer distracting gambit is really nice as well after you hit an enemy with a one-handed weapon, they lose one AC for a minute. Doesn't stack. Again, really nice against just about anything. Where is the... What feats do we already have? Do we have any? Am I just being really stupid and not... Not seeing the lockpick one? Oh, it's none of those. It's not that. It's not that. It's none of them. I don't think it's here. Have I imagined it? Hmm. I mean... If that isn't an option, and that's fine, I'm not going to cry over it. It would be nice, but I'm not going to cry over it. Flawless Concentration might be nice, but you only use one spell, and you have so many spell slots that you can just keep popping it on. I'm not that worried about that. And how often do you get hit, outside of a dragon-breathing acid breath? You only get hit if you're in combat, and if you're in combat, you're probably swinging with two swords anyway, so... It's not one of the god things, is it? No. No. Um, I guess the next question is, is it better to, to put two con or two wisdom on her? Or take something that's going to help her in melee combat? Because she's good, but she doesn't have a lot in melee combat. She doesn't use cantrips, well, she doesn't use offensive cantrips. 
She doesn't need to, she's got a bow. Ambidextrous is pointless. Because of that plus six on dex. Her strength isn't very good. Plus six on dex is huge. And we need fitness weapons. Short swords I'm happy with. To be honest, I'm very happy with. Um, why is this so tough? Why can I not see that? I mean, that could be obnoxious. Plus one dex is pointless. She moves pretty good already. But that would be obnoxious, having a... a Movement 9 character, you know, like a monk. <laughs> so it can either be the 6 turns in the, no, 10 turns just for a minute. What RP wise, what is she good at? So She'd. She's a hunter. And a protector. As a hunter. She's an archer, but mainly, so I would assume that. Normally, she's less inclined to be in melee combat, which is kind of how I'm playing her anyway, because the bow is so nice. So would Cloak and Dagger make sense? That she's more trained to keep herself alive and parry and be defensive when she's fighting in melee combat? Or would it just be cutting through? She doesn't really cut through people. And she has the bonus action to jump away. Um, so if... I'm going to go Cloak and Dagger. It fits the stealthier side. It fits the, if she's surrounded, she's more keeping herself alive and just trying to, trying to get away because she can jump back with the, the subclass that we took. Yeah, Cloak and Dagger. I'm not bothered about extra wisdom. We'll get another one of these, either a feat or a, I feel like the wisdom needs to go up. We can do it then, so. And her health is pretty good. Rangers are quite tanky. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Oh, we already took it. It's Lockbreaker. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I didn't realise we'd already taken it. It's been that long since I made these characters. Well, like a week. But yeah, cool. That'll do. Um, I'm happy now. Happy with that. Ignore. Don't get any new spells, sadly. Right, Neberia, what do you get? What do what can I give you? You do need feats. Con's tempting. Your charisma's already maxed out, so you have the thingy thing, don't you? You know the thingy thing. I'm not overly excited about using cantrip on you, if I'm honest. I think that might be annoying. That's specifically... I think, I don't know the wording, I'd have to double check what she gets. But Electrifying Touch with her bonus affinity to electricity, I don't know if that would be her proficiency bonus doubled when she hits something and like she's, she's crap. She's crap in melee, so the chances of her hitting are quite slim anyway. So that's not really worth it, but I don't know if there's a bit of interplay with the, with that and having the extra bit. I genuinely don't know what to do with you. Master Enchanter. Spend half the normal time enchanting an item, and your proficiency bonus is doubled when rolling. That just means she's really crafty. 
Manipulator doesn't seem to fit. I think you've already got those anyway. I, I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know what's worth it for you. Do you poison damage whenever you take fire, cold, or lightning, you use your reaction. Mm, mm, it's probably good. Recharges on a short rest. That's probably quite good, actually, thinking about what we're coming up against. Uh... Advantage on your initiative could be really good because then we can invisible people or haste people and then fall back. I'd be taking it because I can't think of anything else. Discretion of... The Codim Wath? I... Didn't that used to be something of the Commonwealth? Or am I imagining that? I'm at a, I'm kind of at a point with Niberia where... Charisma is the main stat. We can't take that any higher anyway, so that's done. So I'm taking feats for the sake of taking feats, but then I'm upping stats for the sake of upping stats, if you know what I mean. I don't see the point in upping intelligence, and if she needs an intelligence boost, I'd just switch something out and put the, um, the circlet on. Yes, charisma is crucial. She's already at plus four. She isn't melee focused. Yeah, she gets in combat sometimes because I put her in stupid positions and don't necessarily move her very well. But she has a really good AC for what she does. She has decent HP at 110, to be fair. I really like the idea of her going first in combat or going quicker in combat. Which is why I'm leaning towards eager for battle. Plus one dex, it's it's not going to do anything. It puts her at 17. It, it doesn't really help. But advantage on initiative rolls kind of gets me more excited. Because theoretically she's going to be going quicker each turn. Unless she rolls like double ones or something, which is always possible with me. But that just... I like the idea that she's, she goes, she's like more switched on, she goes quicker than the group with some magic-y, sorcerous -y stuff. And then she could, like, Great Invisible is going to be huge against anything that isn't a giant flaming spirit dragon. So we could put that on two people and then she, she backs away out the fight. I like that idea. She already has the concentration thing, obviously, because it's not here. Proficiency with, with the Malakal and Rosary. She already has. Master Enchanter's nice, but we're not really crafting a lot at the moment. And I think she's going to be pretty good at crafting anyway. With the massive Arcana boost that she's suddenly got. Whereas combat is where the challenges are really starting to stack up. We're going to do it. She does have flawless con. I don't use cantrips enough. And if I'm down to cantrips with her, it's because I've used all the spell slots. I don't like that we're not getting spells and things. That'll do. Still immune to demonic influence. Nice. Yeah, that it it it's a it's probably a bit of a silly one on a non-combat focused character, but I, it's music's loud. But I I think if we can get her going faster and get her going earlier in the turn, 
she can do more support stuff at the start of a fight and then back away and be offensive. So I, yeah, I, I, in my head, that was the best of, of kind of weak options all round for, for that. And she does already have, not that charisma stuff comes into play much on this. But she's already pretty good. Well, I mean, she's plus nine on intimidation, but she's plus five on everything else. So she's pretty good. And to be honest, Vanko's got the intimidation and deception stuff covered. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not overly worried. Crafting. He's got a plus seven bonus anyway. Manical and Rosary and Arcana. I really like that axe, but I've got nobody to use it. It isn't as good as Skullcrusher. There isn't anything to make, is there? I was tempted to do something like that, but Banco's got better armor now. Scimitars should really be a D8, shouldn't they? Immunity to Frozen. This stuff is going to come into play quite a bit, I think. We might need to give everybody these boots. We can only craft one, though. And I am tempted to do a, a Lightbringer. And she can run two Lightbringer swords. As nice as that is, it does drop the damage, because... We're losing a d6. And I really like the design of the Elven Thin Blade. I also kind of wanted to have a rapier or something. Oh, but I was going to give you the but then you attuned to stuff. Yeah, I don't know what to do with you. Uh, I need to see what Sovereign's going to do, because Sovereign's clearly key to something in the story, if it's got the story quest thing. Let's go! Now we've leveled up, let's, um, let's test these new powers out. See how fast the barrier is. Hopefully she's fast. Really want her to be fast. fast. Oh yeah, Shield of Faith. Cool. So... Let's twin it. And I like that she can make herself invisible as well, so that again should hopefully keep her... Oh, they're all surprised. Keep her alive a little bit. Yeah, let's do that for now. What's down here? So we've got a little, little goblin. We've got two shamans up there. Let's go after the shamans. Do we get advantage on all of these? We do, because we stay invisible. Yeah, I think that's the right choice for her. And you can fast aim just to finish him off. How could she stay like invisible? Yes, that was the right choice. I'm already happy with that level up. I'm alright with these being stunned. Stunned, I'm surprised, sorry. So now, hopefully, Malediction and Malediction Spam is going to work better. How much health have you got? 22. 
Couldn't kill. No, I should have put Maldiction on him. I knew as I was doing it, I should have. But look how much damage it did. That's nice. And you. What's going to come running first? Can you just be a pain in the backside and pop? I'm okay using level 4 for this. We are traveling though, aren't we? So we'll get these back straight away. Bravo! Victory is yours! Nice! I'll take it. 